Hey, what's up everyone? Um, I've been meaning to do this video. I have, uh, I have like a data bank full of videos that I keep doing. I, did, I just can't get the chance to upload them. But this video, I feel like this is, this is a must. Guys, I said, this is the best thing since sliced bread. Now check it. I was at work the other day, right? And my phone battery was dying. So I put it on the phone. I put it on the truck. Put it in my my charger I have like a small inverter so it's a small inverter here and as I see it as a house plug you know I power stuff like you can run crazy much but I use the inverter charge the phone and then yeah, it turns out that the battery died I don't know what happened maybe my terminal not on tight enough but my battery died and I was stuck at the work site. I mean, it was 12 in the day. You know, you really, the, the neighbor was there, but I'm like, what am I gonna do? I remember I did a previous video. You can go to my YouTube channel or the link will, I'll post the link underneath this video. Comment the link underneath this video. And in the YouTube channel video, we did how to jump a lawnmower using a truck battery. So I'm like, I'm like, you know, vice versa, thinking it will work vice versa. So. I went ahead and I tried it and it worked and this is the video. Check it out. Also, we have a series of videos that we will be uploading today. So just check it out, check it out, updating the page guys. Okay guys, what we have here is that I've gone ahead and removed the strap securing the battery. Um, and over by the truck. I've already gone ahead and loosened up the terminal, which was already pretty loose on my truck battery. Um, so, on your vehicle, you just remove the terminal. Um, okay, so here I've used this 716 wrench to remove the, the terminal and the lawnmower as well. I don't know what size yours will be, but everything is already secure. Try not to let the terminals touch the while you're removing it. Well, it should be pretty simple. Anybody can do it. It's just removing the terminals from both vehicle. Now, the problem is because the, the, this battery is so small, there's no real way to connect the terminal to the truck. I don't know if some of you guys, you know, have any engineering skills to properly secure it somehow, but. What I did, I just rest it right here. Make sure the positives with the positive and negative with negative. And I just, I just rest it against, I just rest it against the, the terminals. Just let it touch. Like, there you go. As you can see, the truck's already juiced up. Actually, it came off. As I say, it's kind of hard to secure it being so small. There's no real way, but once you get it secured, that should this should do it. Let's see. Ah, life! I tell you, life. Okay, guys, and that's how you jump your truck with a lawnmower battery. So no need to fear out there. You know. We're here. All the tricks you need to survive out here in the light of landscape in that main I'll see you guys in my next video. Ooh.